John Maynard Keynes wrote a book, 1936. It was a theory, the general theory, of employment, money, and interest. Why was it called the general theory? It's commonly referred to, everybody says, oh, Keynes, Keynes, the general theory. The reason it was called the general theory is this. In, his, in the French edition, in the preface, Keynes explained that the classical economists assumed the economy in the long run would gravitate back to a, a, equilibrium. It had flexible prices and eventually full employment. That the classical economists believed that the economy was self-correcting in the long run. We're not talking six months, even a year, but eventually it will gravitate back in let's say a little over a year, two years, whatever the length of a business cycle is. But for Keynes, that was the specific theory. He lays her right out, that's specific. His theory is the general theory. What is normally true, and what he believed was normally true was there are price rigidities. Wages are sticky. They can't adjust fast enough. Prices can't adjust fast enough. And you get stuck in long-term disequilibrium, or the economy, better expressed, finds an equilibrium in the long term that is less than full employment. He basically accuses the classic, he actually accuses the marginal economists and he calls them classical, which is, which is something that he makes a mistake with, that they're missing the point of economics. The point of economics is, it's basically about rigidities and unemployment and this is why Keynes is kind of a Malthusian in the sense he believes the economy cannot be a self-correcting and we can't as individuals find our way out. We need a paternalistic government to help us, control us and watch over us like a boss. And that's why it's the general theory. Generally, he believes this happens. Part of my thesis, I'm doing PhD work, is I'm looking into why he is incorrect. In his writing, it's a little bit pretentious to be quite frank. He uses words like the marginal efficiency of capital, and he confuses the interest rate with the marginal efficiency of capital in his writing. He accuses Hayek and uh, Castle and uh, Lionel Robbins of confusing the interest rate, but he is the one that is, is confused. His writing is very convoluted. If you ever try to read the general theory, his general theory of explanation of what generally happens, it's like reading Latin or Old English, even though it's written in modern English. You have to read every sentence two or three times, and it's very laborious. And I believe his thinking, when he wrote it in 1936, was what was something maybe reflective of his life. He wrote a treatise on money, a much clearer work years before. He was he was pretty standard economist, agreed, agreed with Knut Vixell. Anyway, I wanted, I wanted to let you know where the title, The General Theory by Keynes comes from. It comes from his, his, an explanation that it's not the specific theory, but it's the general theory that the economy gets stuck, we need the government to help us, and I totally disagree with him. Thank you very much.